Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to our sermon recap. We are in the middle of our Wisdom Speaks sermon series on the book of Proverbs, and it's been going awesome. Pastor Shem preached to us last week. Yes, Proverbs 18.21. 18.21, which says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those who love it will eat its fruit. Mm, and you had some pretty good analogies with some fruit. I did, yeah. So the whole idea is our speech matters, our words matter, words are serious. So I had this basket of good fruit and bad fruit. Mm. And the good fruit represents the good things that come out of our mouth, that, that build up, that encourage, mm. that equip. And the bad fruit is the things that we say that would break people down and put them down. And so our tongue can be used to uh, as a, a, a tool of building up or it can mm. be used as a lethal weapon. Yeah, right. yeah. And so what were some of the practical takeaways for us? as followers of Jesus, yeah. how do we be people who build people up? Yeah, I think it's just asking the Holy Spirit for an awareness mm. of our speech. Um, I use an example of even in my words, in my daily conversations, especially with my wife, am I using words that, that build her up? Mm. Am I saying things that encourage her? In my discipline with my kids, am I disciplining them through the heart of mm. Jesus? Am I doing things with His desire? Mm -hmm. um, or am I using my own emotions? When I'm at the grocery store, when I'm speaking to somebody, when things don't go my way, does my speech reflect Christ? As mm -hmm. He forgave me, as He showed me so much of His grace and love, am I also in my speech and conduct doing that for others around me? Mm, that's good. Any other takeaways for us? Uh, just the fact that our words are serious, our words are powerful, and our words matter. So ask the Holy Spirit to give you that guidance so we can reflect Christ in our daily activities, in our workplace, in our homes, with people around us, to make sure that we are sharing the love of Christ and not putting people down, but building people up. That's great. Well, thanks, Pastor Shem, and thank you for your time. And we pray that you have an awesome week. God bless.